Hello, this is Sierra from Sierra T Designs, and today I have a video for you on the Joy Claire YouTube channel. So let's jump in. You can see there that I already have the uh, cupcakes from the Joy Claire Sweet Halloween digital stamp set cut out. I actually recently figured out that I could use my Cricut to cut digital stamps, so I've been just having so much fun with that. And I do hope to have a video up on my channel pretty quickly here about how I've done this. But so that's how I have them already cut out. Um, I am going to jump right into the Copic coloring because I do really enjoy Copic coloring digital images, as I own an inkjet printer and I don't have a laser printer yet. But one day soon, I hope maybe. Um, Black Friday, maybe I'll find a good deal. So that's my hope because I loved, I would have loved to watercolor these, but sadly, I only have the inkjet printer. So that's what I'm working with. So for the Copics, I am using uh, this would be YR04, YR07, and YR16, which are my orange blends. And you can see the marker cap there on the screen. And as always, I like to put a full wash of my lightest color down and then I move into my mid-tone and then into my darkest color. And recently, I've actually um, not been going fully through them again. I've just recently been uh, kind of going uh, lightest tone to mid-tone to dark tone and then just adding the lightest tone over again so it doesn't quite blend them enough or as much. Um, so you kind of get a bit of a uh, less blended look, which... I mean, it's totally up to your opinion as to what you prefer your blends to look like, but that's something that I've kind of been enjoying. So it kind of, it makes your colors a little bit darker because they're not blended out as much. So, I mean, I like both. This is just kind of what I've been playing with recently and it's really been a lot of fun. So here I have V12, V15, and V17. And as these are Halloween themed images, I do love how orange and purple go together. So that's kind of what I was thinking there with that. You could absolutely color these any color. Uh, just I like orange and purple so that's what I went with and then here I have the little ghost on the top he's gonna be N1 and N3 which were neutral grays and I only went with a two color blend here because he's meant to be white so I'm just trying to kind of add shadowing to the folds of his my well, I, I guess it'd be like a sheet whatever the ghosts blanket is sheet is whatever that is I'm only adding shading to the folds of that so there's very little color to uh, his cloak, whatever he's wearing there. I mean, if I guess if it was a ghost, it's not actually a cloak, but you know what I'm saying. So, and then I jump into my greens, which is YG23 and YG25. And then I'm going to have a couple of earth tones because I brought that in for the top of the uh, pumpkin and the uh, sleeves that the cupcakes are in, cupcake tins, whatever you want to call these. I guess they're muffin, it's cupcake tins, muffin tins. I'm not sure. You should let me know what you guys call them. Because I've found that they're called different things depending on where you live. So it's always kind of interesting. Uh, so yeah, I have y, or, sorry, E13, E25, E27, and E57. And I am also going to bring in a red color for the mouths, which I'm not going to show you. It's because I actually forgot about the mouth afterwards. And I'm only going to show you the, the cupcake tin on the first guy here because the other second one's colored the exact same way. And for the mouth, I brought in R05 and R24. And then I did bring in a white gel pen. I'm really loving how it looks with a little bit of a white highlight because I'm not very good at not coloring everything. Um, you know, like in watercolor, generally you would kind of, if you want the white of the paper, you don't add color to that area. I'm not good at that, uh, especially when it comes to Copics. I have a tendency to want to add color to everything. So, and I find it for me personally easier to blend if I have a wash of the lightest color down. So that's just kind of the way I like to do it. By all means, do what works for you. Whatever works for you is awesome. So I do have tumbled glass oxide ink here and I'm going to use, this is a stencil, stencil from Tim Holtz. It's the Rays layering stencil and I just thought it was pretty cool to do this kind of rays of sun behind my cupcakes. I thought that looked really neat. And I just have the uh, seven inch make art station. I've been loving this to hold my stencils. You could of course use pixie spray or um, like a repositionable adhesive. This has just kind of been a neat way to hold it down that I don't have to go and add glue or add something to the back, wait for it to dry and then start using it and then worry about the possibility of residue being on my ATC or my card when I'm finished. Um, I have had that problem in the past so I've kind of been trying this out as something different and I just have a blending brush here. Any blending brush will do. I think that one is from Amazon to be honest with you because I just I kind of try to find awesome deals where I can 
and then I'm just going to use some foam adhesive to stick this up. Now I use everything. Um, I kind of, I don't like to waste anything. I don't like to throw anything out. So I'm actually using the uh, pieces that go around little foam hexagon things there so that I can put that on the back and just keep using what I have. That's just kind of how I roll. I kind of don't like to purchase things if I don't have to. Um, although I am kind of looking for some more new, some new foam squares. I have had a problem where I have bought some foam tape in the past and it's just so thick and I kind of I like to have very minuscule dimension sometimes I don't want it to be popped up really high so I've kind of been struggling to find something that I like that's a bit lower or thinner but still gives you some dimension so these little mini dimensionals are pretty amazing for that but I'm running out as you can see so I'll have to find something else to replace it here pretty quickly <clears throat> but I just peeled off all of the backing and then I'm going to stick that down onto my AGC and we're going to move on to the next step here. And I know you're going to be like, Sierra, your nails are too long. This is why you're struggling here. And you're right, they are. But my nail lady's on vacation. So for now, <laughs> we're just going to roll with longer nails because there's nothing I can do about it until she comes back from camping. So I did take my Nouveau Deluxe glue and I have some Simon Says Stamp. I believe these are Moonstone sequins. They're one of my favorite clear sequins. Any clear sequin would do, any gem would do. You don't even have to add these. I just, I really like the little bit of sparkle it adds. And in the background, it kind of draws your eye more to the cupcakes. Um, I find because I've done them on a diagonal across the card, right? So I, I find that it kind of just helps frame around the cupcakes really nicely. And I am using my, uh, this is a Studio Katia gem, well, uh, be embellishment wand, sorry. I forgot the name of it for a second there. Uh, embellishment wand. And yeah, so then we're gonna move on because I just couldn't resist a little more sparkle. So I just have my clear Wanka Stella uh, brush pen here. And okay, so with this, I should have added my white highlights after I put the glitter on and had dried. Because they're both water-based mediums, um, the Wink Stella will completely eat the white gel pen. So don't do as I do, do, well I know it says do as I say, but you don't have to do that either. Um, it just, it, it would be better if you did the glitter first and then added on the white highlights after the glitter had dried. I didn't even, I wasn't planning on adding the glitter, so I didn't even think about it at the time, but yeah, so I just avoided any area that I had put white highlights on. So that is the ATC I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave me a comment, leave me a like, and if would love to have you consider subscribing. I'll see you again soon, and I cannot wait till our next project. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.